ध्यानंजन शलाख्य चक्षुन मिलित जीन तस्म श्री गुरव नम वाकुभ कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौर गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ता translate you should come here yeah intelligent so young so strong so beautiful then why he should do bhajan what is the cause you can speak something about this <coughs> my question sir krishna jadi kudan mengatakan kalau seseorang memiliki kekayaan kenapa dia harus melakukan bhajan Tuhan yang Maha Esa dijelaskan di sini. More loudly, please. Menciptakan 
8.400.000 kehidupan Yaitu Dari Binatang Yang hidup di air Laut Tumbuh-tumbuhan Dan sampai pada tingkat kehidupan yang terdiri Yang disebut dengan manusia In all these different Species of life Four things are common Eating Mating, sleeping, and defending. Jadi, pada setiap kehidupan itu ada empat kegiatan dari makhluk itu sendiri, yaitu makan, tidur, eating, sleeping, mating, mating the um, facility for procreation, offspring, having offspring. Eating yaitu pertemuan. Defending, defending, right? Dan so, in the human species, the animal species, we see that um, these activities are going on. So then, and we see also that in the animal species, that there's um, much more facility for these activities even in, than in the human species. For instance, Um, some of us may be inclined towards um, a lot of sleep, but we see that in the animal species, for instance, the bears, that they can sleep for long, long periods of time. Six months, Six months of the year, even, the bears, they can sleep. And um, some may be overly addicted to lust. And we see that in the animal species, there's so many species, monkeys, birds, that um, uh, overly sexually active. So, dalam kehidupan uh, seperti binatang, di situ dijelaskan lebih banyak waktu fasilitas yang dia bisa gunakan. Seperti contoh di sini, binatang seperti beruang, dia bisa tidur selama enam bulan tanpa ada yang mengganggu. But in the human, do you get it? <coughs> The deer, the, the, the birds, they have a much more um, facility for enjoying sex life. Jadi kehidupan binatang seperti itu lebih banyak kenikmatan yang ingin dilakukan seperti melakukan kenikmatan hubungan seksual. But when one gets to the human species, then in the human form of life, there's the speciality that the human being has a special type of intelligence whereby one can inquire who am I? what is the purpose of my existence? am I different from this body? What, um, where was I before this birth? and what will happen to me after I die? this is the speciality of the human species that in the lower species of life there is um, no facility for inquiry Tetapi, tetapi di dalam kehidupan yang dikurni oleh Tuhan sebagai seorang manusia Kita memiliki kelebihan daripada makhluk-makhluk binatang itu sendiri Jadi kita mempunyai suatu kecerdasan Yang malah kita bisa menentukan Dan kita uh, mempunyai suatu pertanyaan Siapa diri kita? Dari mana kita berasal? Kemana kita akan pergi? Dan bagaimana caranya pergi ke tempat itu? So it is stated in the Vedic scriptures That after going through the cycle of birth and death throughout the different species that when one comes to the human species of which there are 400,000 then at this time it states Atato Brahma Gigyasa that now it's time to inquire who am I? what is the purpose of my existence? is the purpose of my existence to eat, drink and be merry? Jadi, setelah mengalami perputaran kehidupan yang berulang yang dinyatakan di, di sini yaitu sebanyak 8.400.000 kehidupan di situ kita mendapatkan kerana dari Tuhan yang Maha Esa pun mendapatkan badan sebagai badan manusia dan situ di situ kita harus mempunyai kecerdasan siapa diri kita kemana kita akan pergi so if one has attained the human species of life and one engages in these activities of eating sleeping mating and defending without inquiring about one's spiritual nature then it is stated that 
one is no better than um, an animal. That though we say animals, they have four legs, but one who has the body of a human being, but the consciousness based on just eating, sleeping, mating, and defending is a two-legged animal. Jadi dijelaskan di sini, kalau manusia mempunyai kecenderungan seperti binatang, yaitu makan, tidur, dan melakukan hubungan seks, itu dinyatakan tidak lebih daripada binatang itu sendiri. So we say that in society today, because the society is so materialistic, especially in the West, much more so than in Eastern society, where um, so much modern technology is there, but it's all based around making a sophisticated arrangement for our eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. So even though there are billions and billions of dollars which are being utilized, and we see that there's so much sophistication, but what is that sophistication meant for? In human society nowadays, specifically in the Western society, it is meant for a sophisticated animal society. Just for instance, we've seen in the last week where the Americans and the British, they've, um, they've shown that and how um, this sophisticated type of animalism um, is manifest. That they spent billions and billions of dollars on warfare, um, where they've come up with um, um, weapons that can pinpoint the target from 1500 miles. But how are they different from the animals in the jungle with their claws that are going against their prey? <laughs> Kehidupan yang terjadi di zaman ini itu kehidupan yang materialistik, khususnya di negara barat, yang mana di sana fasilitas-fasilitas kehidupan tersedia dengan sangat meriahnya. Seperti contohnya kejadian yang seminggu yang lalu, yaitu dibuangnya Irak oleh Amerika dan bersekutu dengan Inggris dengan mempergunakan uang yang ber bermiliar-miliar. Jadi itu dibawa dari jaraknya sangat jauh sekali yaitu sekitar 150 mil jaraknya. Tetapi itu tujuannya adalah untuk menghancurkan. Jadi di sini dijelaskan itu kehidupan yang tidak berbeda daripada kehidupan binatang. And we see also coming from the west that there's so much sophisticated sophistication in decorating the human body that um, along with billions of dollars spent on um, what they call defense, or the sophisticated um, means of um, attacking and destroying other human beings. Um, another big spender is that they spent billions and billions of dollars on cosmetic industry, which is meant to beautify the body, um, which is no more than dead matter. <laughs> mengalir suatu kegemerlapan yang mana itu tujuannya adalah untuk menghias dirinya sendiri jadi di situ dia mengeluarkan uang yang bermiliar-miliar dolar yang tujuannya untuk menghiaskan dirinya secara luar jadi dia hanya membuang buang uangnya begitu saja tanpa artinya and all this wealth is being used um, just to alert members of the opposite sex um, to act on animalistic platform. Jadi semua harta benda yang mereka keluarkan itu hanya digunakan untuk mempraktekkan kehidupan yang tidak bedanya seperti kehidupan binatang. So those who come from the east, especially those who are um, brought up in Hindu brought up from a Hindu culture um, or who are spying for a spiritual realization, um, need to beware about following the tendencies or the leadership of Western society. Jadi, sangat berbeda sekali di sini kehidupan yang uh, dialirkan dari darah timur, di mana di sana peradaban-peradaban masih sangat terlihat sangat jelas sekali. Jadi di situ orang sangat beradab dan mereka itu sangat tergantung pada apa yang disebut dengan kitab suci. 
No Western society, it appears very, very attractive. But actually, it is just um, a very gross form of animalistic, uh, animalistic society. In fact, um, there is no culture. But we see that in this age of Kali, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, that the leadership which is being set by Western society, that is, is infiltrating into Eastern society, and even amongst those who come from Vedic culture, um, which has the highest society and culture. So, again, you should speak. So we we see that little, little Western society, um, which is leading the way um, in this age of Kali. This age of Kali is the age of quarrel and hypocrisy. <coughs> Jadi uh, di kehidupan di dunia barat pada zaman kali ini, <coughs> so it uh, it behooves means that one should be very careful, especially if one comes from the Vedic culture or one is seeking spiritual advancement in life. One should be very careful of the influences which come from the West, which is no more than. Um, a gross analytic society with no culture. This is very hard to Don't you want to follow it? Then? Yes. Very auspicious part in spiritual. Very blessing. In any way, they should be careful not to become influenced by the Western development in material programs. Jadi, di ingat sekali di sini, kepada para bata yang telah mempelajari ajaran suci Weda secara sempurna hendaknya hati-hati di dalam menyerap suatu kehidupan yang dibawakan dari dunia barat. So in the Srimad Bhagavatam is stated, Yasyatma budhi kunapetidavke swadhi kala tradishu yaboma ijudi yatirka budhi kalile Kahichit, Janeshu Abigeshu, Saeva Gokara. That means that when an individual or a society is based around, the consciousness is based around making um, so many arrangements for the body and being absorbed in the body, and when one does not know how to um, seek for spiritual life, and to approach saintly people. Jadi dijelaskan di dalam Sriman Bhagavatam, apabila seseorang hanya menyiapkan harta benanya untuk kepuasan kehidupan secara material, and when one is attached to one's place of birth, being very proud that I am American, I am British, I am um, Indonesian, that um, such consciousness is, um, it makes one no better than a donkey or a cow. Jadi seseorang yang mengklaim kehidupannya, seperti dikatakan di sini, saya orang Barat, saya orang Bali, atau saya orang Amerika, di sini dijelaskan, kehidupan yang seperti itu tidak bedanya seperti kehidupan keledai. But rather the Vedic scriptures say, that means that now, after having gone through the different species of life, eight million different species of life, we've been in the we've been fish, we've been birds, we've been four-legged animals of all description, we've been trees, and now we come to the human form of life, This is very, very difficult and very rare opportunity. Jadi dijelaskan di sini dalam seni, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. Di dalam Srimad Bhagavatam itu setelah kita mengalami siklus kehidupan yang banyaknya sekitar 8 juta lebih, yaitu jelas 8 juta 400 ke, uh, ribu kehidupan dari binatang seperti amuba yang kita tidak, tidak bisa lihat uh, tumbuh-tumbuhan ikan dan lain sebagainya sehingga kita menjadi apa yang disebut dengan manusia okay. 
Manusya, this human birth is artadam. It is very, very um, valuable. Jadi itu sangat sulit sekali untuk dicapai atau didapatkan. Because as I mentioned before, in this human form of life, we can inquire about our spiritual identity, about the Atma. Jadi oleh karena itu hendaknya kita bertanya pada identitas kita yang asli yaitu Atman. And this is real wealth in life. Jadi inilah sebenarnya kekayaan di dalam kehidupan kita. One who can inquire about the Atma and who can actually achieve the perfection of union with Atma and Paramatma or the Jiva and Krishna in loving devotion, that that is a real wealthy person. Jadi di sini dijelaskan kekayaan yang sejati yang dimiliki oleh Sang Atman yaitu bagaimana kita mengadakan hubungan dan pelayanan bakti kepada Yang Mulia Sri Krishna. So those who come to spiritual gatherings, especially to associate with saintly people, then they are accruing, they are getting the real wealth in life, in all the different species of life. Now. One who is having such opportunity actually is is becoming an inheritor to the greatest wealth. Jadi apabila seseorang dapat melaksanakan kehidupan yaitu melakukan kegiatan bakti bersama seseorang yang seorang penyembah murni, yaitu jadi itu dijelaskan sesuatu yang tidak ternilai harganya, sesuatu kekayaan yang tidak ternilai dalam hidup ini. But there's a word warning. That this human birth is anitya. It is temporary. Jadi kita diingatkan bahwa kehidupan sebagai uh, manusia itu sangat hanyalah sementara. That we can die at any time. Jadi kita bisa meninggal pada setiap saat. We think that we may live for 50 years or 40 years or what have you, but we may die tomorrow. Tetapi pun kita sudah hidup 40 atau 50 tahun. Tetapi mungkin kita akan meninggal besok. We may walk out the door and have an accident, and we may even die today. Mungkin kita keluar dari pintu dan kita akan meninggal hari ini. So the Vedic scriptures say, now that we have this human form of life, now at this very moment, that we should very much take seriously this um, opportunity to take the spiritual life. That we should do it now. Jadi dijelaskan di dalam Weda, hendaknya kita jangan menyia-nyiakan waktu. Hendaknya detik ini pula kita harus mengadakan hubungan kepada Tuhan yang Maha Esa. That we should not, um, we should not, we should not delay, and that there is no impediment. Jadi hendaknya jangan kita menunggu dan atau menunda kesempatan ini. Just the other day. Um, I think it was one of the first days that Guru Dev was here. He was saying that whether one is intelligent or whatever situation one comes from, whether one is rich, whether one is poor, there's no impediment for taking to spiritual life. All that is required is that one um, puts one's heart into the um, process. Jadi pada saat hari pertama kedatangan Sila Guru Dev di sini, beliau menyatakan. Di situ tidak ada satu alasan dia seorang kaya, miskin atau dalam keadaan apapun untuk melakukan hubungan cinta bakti terhadap Tuhan yang Maha Esa. Then the verse further says, "Tunam itaita na patet anumiti yaban." That friend, tunam itaita. So that once we have this human form of life, that if we take to the spiritual path, then this will ensure that we will not fall back down into the animal species of life. Jadi, kalau kita sudah melaksanakan kehidupan spiritual, yaitu mengadakan hubungan langsung terhadap Tuhan yang Maha dan kita mendapatkan badan sebagai badan manusia, jadi di situ tidak ada kemungkinan kita untuk jatuh kembali ke dalam kehidupan sebagai binatang. So one may be very rich, one may have all wealth, and one may be in the prime of their youth, may be very attractive, very beautiful lady, or very handsome man with great intelligence, and one may have this because of all these material things. One one may be 
inspired to enjoy materially. Jadi mungkin di sini dijelaskan ada seorang yang sangat kaya sekali, sangat tampan, sangat cantik sekali. One may have um, great wealth, one may be in the prime of youth, yes. and one may have um, um, great intelligence and ability to enjoy materially. Dan sangat cerdas sekali dan mempunyai kesanggupan untuk menikmati kehidupan ini, Ke- kenikmatan dari indria indria ini. But the Vedic scriptures are saying that if one misuses this human form of life, even though one has all these things, then one can very easily fall back down into the animal species of life for misuse, for acting as a two-legged animal. Jadi dari kenikmatan indria indria yang kita lakukan itu. Kemungkinan kita akan salah di dalam melaksanakan kehidupan ini dan disitulah kemungkinan besar kita akan jatuh dari kehidupan sebagai seorang manusia dan akhirnya kita akan uh, terseret ke dalam kehidupan binatang. But on, on the other hand, the supreme lord, the creator of this um, cosmic man, of this material world, he is so kind, he is so compassionate that he has made a very a um, simple, a very easy, and a very um, joyous process of self-realization. Dengan kata lain di sini dijelaskan, Tuhan yang Maha Esa begitu bermurah hati menciptakan alam semesta ini dengan segala kenikmatan, joy, and very um, enjoyable process of self-realization of spiritual life. Dan di situ beliau menciptakan satu proses yang sederhana di dalam kehidupan kerohanian dan untuk memperoleh kemaju- kemajuan rohani. First, um, he has. I'll just go back a bit. First, he is he is for those who want to. Hmm. I will. Okay. Go on. So he has um, presented this process of bhakti yoga, um, where, whereby even though one may initially they may be attracted to uh, merge into the impersonal into the effulgence of the supreme Lord, mm-hmm. but he has provided a process where um, one does not have to lose one's spiritual identity. Very difficult. Um, okay, that's what I was thinking because I'm thinking the other. But it is so easy thing. Yeah. Um, and important. So let me see. Tell a very easy story. Jadi di sini sila gurudev akan memberikan very easy story. Cerita yang sangat mudah dimengerti. And if they want to question anything, if they are not understanding, they can question no harm. Jika seseorang ingin menanyakan sesuatu dan dia tidak bisa menanyakan itu, dia bisa menanyakan apa saja yang ingin ditanyakan itu tidak akan jadi masalah. There was a saint a realized person, very intelligent. Itu satu pertanda bahwa anda adalah seorang yang cerdas. But he was so crooked, so ugly, and he was crooked from his eight part of body. Jadi dia sangat bingung sekali. Dia dibingungkan oleh delapan unsur badan. So ugly, so blackish, that his teeth were outside of mouth, and his backside was like a hunchback. Hunchback. Hunch. Crooked. Jadi bentuk badannya sangat jelek sekali. Giginya itu kalau kita sebut jongos itu disebut. Punggungnya penuh jangkung. He could not walk. He was so lame. He could not walk. 
But he was so intelligent. Dia tidak bisa berjalan lumpuh, tetapi dia sangat cerdas sekali. He usually in a hilly place, and he was so happy, chanting, remembering, and he used to be in trance. Jadi pada waktu yang sama mereka sangat sedih sekali di dalam memuja Tuhan, mengucapkan nama suci Tuhan, dan sehingga pada akhirnya sampai dia pada puncak daripada semadi. Puncak semadi. Once he heard that there is a king named. Maharaj Janak, and he is so intelligent, and he, in his council, there are so many intelligent and self-realized persons. All, all are happy. So he wanted to go there and to associate for supreme knowledge. Jadi pada saat mereka mendengar ada seseorang yang sangat cerdas sekali, seperti Raja Jenaka, jadi mereka ingin sekali melakukan pergaulan, mendapatkan pergaulan dari beliau itu, dari orang yang sangat cerdas itu. As young students goes to universities to gain some knowledge. Jadi seperti seorang mahasiswa pergi ke satu universitas, universitas untuk mendapatkan ilmu pengetahuan. Anyone cannot gain any kind of knowledge without associating with experts. Jadi dijelaskan ini tidak ada seseorang pun akan mendapatkan kecerdasan tanpa mendapatkan pergaulan dari seorang yang cerdas. So we can gain some knowledge if we will go to experts. So he wanted to go there because he heard that in the council of Maharaj Janak there are so many realized souls, so high class of they have knowledge, transcendental knowledge. So I must go there. So he was trying. And he came with so much difficulty because he could not walk. He was then he was so weak. But anyhow, he came there. In a month he came, only walking, walking, gone. Jadi mereka sangat ingin sekali datang ke sana, tetapi mereka itu lumpuh. Tidak bisa bergerak, tetapi mempunyai keinginan yang sangat tinggi sekali, sangat besar sekali untuk bisa bertemu dengan seorang yang cerdas itu, dengan berjalan, bertatih-tatih, berbulan-bulan, untuk sampai ke tempat itu untuk mendapatkan pergaulan dari seorang yang cerdas. When he came, he entered the in the council. Like nowadays, there were no guards. And anyone was not to check him, and he was like a Brahmin, very intelligent person. Anyone could not check, and he went straight in the council. Jadi pada suatu ketika akhirnya mereka tiba di tempat tujuan mereka, yaitu pada Tempat seorang yang mempunyai kecerdasan yang sangat tinggi seperti Raja Jenaka, dia di sana masuk tanpa ada yang menghalangi. When he reached, entered the council, all the persons who were the councillors, well decorated, 
with uh, so well dresses. Royal dresses. All were in royal dresses. Hmm? But this person was like old and torn, no clothes even, only there was a langoti. Lion cloth. And nothing was there, and she was so crooked. Sehingga akhirnya, orang yang cacat ini tiba di tempat yang disebut dengan orang yang cerdas itu. Di mana di sana hadir, banyak sekali orang yang berpakaian sangat indah sekali. Dibandingkan orang cacat ini, mereka itu sangat jelek sekali. Hanya berpakaian kan selembar pakaian yang sangat kotor sekali yang disebut dengan kancut ginting yang dibulatkan di gitu, sana. All the counselors, <coughs> they saw at once and they began to laugh very loudly. How desperate this person is that he entered in the council. So ugly person and he had dared to enter in this council. Sehingga akhirnya di tempat yang sangat mewah itu yang dihadiri oleh para yang sangat bermerlapan dengan pakaian, di situ orang yang cacat itu ditertawakan oleh semua yang hadir di sana. Ditertawakan dengan tertawa yang sangat tinggi sekali. Jadi di situ ada satu pertanyaan, siapa sebenarnya orang jelek ini, orang yang cacat ini? Kenapa mereka hadir di sini? King himself also he began to laugh, though he was so learned person, and he used to honor all. But even he saw that ugly person and began to laugh. That how he is dare to come here? Jadi raja tersebut juga tertawa. Padahal beliau itu adalah seorang yang terpelajar. Beliau sendiri mempunyai suatu pertanyaan, kenapa orang yang jelek ini, orang cacat ini bisa hadir di sini, di tempat ini? Kenapa? Looking this, that crooked person, Ashtabakra, his name was Ashtabakra, because he was like so... He, eh? he also, he took his... <coughs> Bamboo stick, walking stick. That stick was also crooked. <laughs> and he took it and he gave his mouth on that, rested on that. And he was trembling, but he was laughing. He began to laugh more than the king and the counselors were laughing. Jadi orang cacat itu bernama Astawakra. Jadi ke kedelapan unsur badan yang dimiliki Astawakra itu tidak ada yang benar cacat keseluruhan. Dan di situ beliau hadir Astawakra dengan tongkat bambu yang juga jelek yaitu roket itu berliku-liku. Dan sampai-sampai beliau hadir di sana dengan bambu di bawah dagu beliau. Tetapi kehadiran dia di situ, karena dia ditertawakan dan dia menyanyi tertawa yang di, 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 di buat oleh hadir di sana dan tertawa dia melebihi dari tertawa yang dilakukan oleh para hadir di sana dan oleh raja tersebut. When they saw all the counselor and king that this ugly person is laughing more than us, they become so serious. And they began to think that why this person is laughing? Why? Jadi, setelah sang raja dan semua hadirin di sana melihat kejadian itu, mendengar tertawa daripada astrawatra yang cacat keseluruhan daripada tubuhnya, tertawa melebihi tertawa yang Beliau lakukan sehingga beliau punya satu pertanyaan siapa sebenarnya mereka? King at once came to that crooked person, Ashtabakra, 
and he folded his hand and told to that crooked person, Nastavakka, oh, I want to know that why you are laughing. Dan akhirnya sang raja sendiri datang kepada orang cacat itu dengan mencakupkan tangan dan bertanya kepada orang cacat itu, kenapa kamu tertawa? Apa alasannya? Then Astabakra told that why you and all counselor are laughing. Dan kembali di sini Astabakra bertanya kepada semua hadirat, kenapa anda menertawakan saya? I'm told that you are so ugly, you are cooked by all your parts of body, you are black, so ugly. But you have dared to come here, you are so desperate that you can enter in our concept. So we are all laughing. Jadi, Raja itu menjawab, karena kamu mempunyai badan, Keseluruhan dari badan kamu sangat jelek sekali, cacat, badanmu hitam, dan kamu datang di sini di dalam pertemuan yang sangat meriah ini. Oleh karena itulah kami menertawakan kamu. Then King told that why you are laughing. He told that I am not laughing. I am weeping. That why I came here. I have heard that there are so many intelligent person, realized souls, and there I will go and associate up from them, and I will gain transcendental knowledge. But alas, I am so unhappy that where I have come, there are all so. Ignorant and kublat. Kublat. Kublat means shoemaker. Shoemaker. All shoemakers here. They are not gone to colleges and schools. All are like that. Foolish persons. So I came here in vain. So I want to return. And that is why you are laughing. Jadi Astawakra menjawab. Pertanyaan raja itu dan tertawa. Kenapa hamba tertawa? Hamba datang dari jauh. Hamba mendengar begitu agungnya anda, begitu terpelajarnya anda di sini semua. Tetapi hamba sangat sedih sekali. Ternyata apa yang hamba dengar itu tidak benar. Anda sangat bodoh sekali. Anda bukan orang-orang terpelajar. Oleh karena itu hamba tidak akan datang lagi dan hamba akan keluar dari sini. He told that we should know that there is much difference between soul and this body. We are not this body. You should all try to understand this thing. You are not body. Body is made up only earth, water, fire, air. And ether, and soul can come out any time. We have no time. That when we will die, we will have this body. And after that, what will be in future? From where we have come? You are not independent. You are controlled by time. You have no freedom at all. Bakr Maharaj was telling, began to tell like this, that you are not body. Jadi di sini Astawakra menyatakan, anda adalah bukan badan, anda adalah sang asman. Jiwa yang abadi. Badan ini terdiri dari panca mahabusa. Jadi badan ini bersifat sementara. Atman itu atau sang jiwa bisa keluar pada setiap saat. 
you are certainly know that you are not this body. This body is like claw, all that changeable. But the soul here in body is eternal. There is no birth. There is no death. There is no suffering, no sorrow, no problem. But we are not realizing, like animals. That is why my previous Prabhu was telling all these things. So you are not animals, we are not elements. So Pakra, Ashtapakra is told, telling like this. That you should try to realize that this is like a cloth. And there, there are two souls. One, Jivatma, and other is controller of his whole world. He controls all. We can understand and realize only in human life, not in any other life. If anyone is king, we can see that other day he is poor, he is beggar. And if anyone beggar, he becomes prime minister and president of any country. So we must realize that there is soul here. He has no birth, death and all things. Badan ini ibaratnya baju. Jadi, badan ini ibaratnya baju yang dipakai oleh Sang Ahman. Jadi Sang Ahman itu sifatnya abadi. Tidak pernah akan berubah. Tidak akan pernah berbinasakan. Tetapi oleh karena mendapatkan pergaulan seperti se seekor binatang, sehingga mereka itu lupa dengan peradaban atau dengan sifatnya yang abadi itu. Jadi oleh karena itu, Astawakra mengingatkan yang hadir di situ hendaknya mengerti kenapa kita harus lahir, bagaimana kita melaksanakan hubungan yang secara terus menerus kepada Tuhan yang Maha Esa. Karena itulah tujuan daripada kehidupan kita lahir di dunia ini. Then realizing this. King fell flat on the lotus feet of that ugly person and he was rolling down and telling, Oh great says, forgive me. I have done wrong. My counselor has done wrong. You are really right. We are wrong. Excuse me, excuse me. Then akhirnya, setelah astawakra, yang mempunyai badan atau tubuh yang sangat jelek sekali itu setelah menjelaskan tentang sang jiwa itu sendiri di depan sang raja dan di depan seluruh hadirat dan akhirnya sang raja yang agung itu menyembah dengan merebahkan badannya seperti tongkat pada kaki seorang yang cacat seperti Astawakra dan memohon maaf dan saya mengucapkan kata seperti berikut Anda benar sekali jadi hamba Aat, kami di sini semua salah dan apa yang Allah nyatakan itu benar sekali. Then he took him in his lap and kept him on his own throne, washed his feet and took the, that water and he made him like his guru, Siksha guru. All consular that so much ashamed, and they gave up their false egos, and they also surrendered to Ashtanga. So we are now in human body. We are not like animals. We should not act like animals. He was telling. Always they are involved in four things. What that is? Eating, Eating. Sleeping. 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 Also some, they have some fear 
from others and then supporting their children and nourishing them. Any one, if he dies and he, if he becomes serpent, snake, or he becomes donkey, or he becomes pig, or monkey, or he can easily manage his wives. They prefer. It may be that in our human body we can have one child, even not child. And in peak life, oh, at a time more than sixteen. Nothing worry for their marriage, nothing, anything. They are more happy than human body. So if you are engaged in these things, they are more happy than you. Setelah mengetahui apa yang dilakukan yaitu salah, akhirnya sang raja memeluk aswakra yang cacat itu dan akhirnya mendudukkan aswakra pada kursi kerajaan dan akhirnya aswakra dicuci kakinya dan air cuci kaki aswakra itu. Dan akhirnya sang raja dan yang hadirin di sana meminum basuh kaki daripada astawakra tersebut. Jadi di sini dijelaskan hendaknya kita mengerti bahwa kehidupan kita hendaknya jangan seperti binatang yang mempunyai kecenderungan yaitu makan, tidur, melakukan hubungan, uh, hubungan seks dan membela diri. Jadi yang itu tidak bedanya seperti kehidupan binatang dan hendaknya itu kita tinggalkan dan hendaknya kita mengerti apa sebenarnya kewajiban kita atau apa sebenarnya tujuan kita hidup lahir di dunia ini. Kendati pun di sini dijelaskan kita tidak mempunyai anak atau mempunyai seorang anak, tetapi kita dapat melaksanakan kewajiban kita sebagai seorang manusia yaitu menjadi penyembah Tuhan atau melakukan hubungan dalam hidup kita kepada Tuhan yang Maha Esa maka itu disebut kehidupan yang So I am requesting you all that you should think What is that meant the last uh, eating sleeping yes after that eating sleeping fairly oh they are more happy than us yeah. dan mereka itu adalah lebih can... berbahagia daripada yang lain jangan jadi tidak perlu uh, Kuatir benda di pun ada tidak mempunyai seorang. After marriage life, we may have one daughter or son, and they can have at a time sixteen, and more than that, nothing to worry for that. They will sleep very easy, and we will have to take some medicine for sleeping. So much problems, they have no problems at all. So they are more happy than us. Jadi, benda di pun orang yang sudah melaksanakan kegiatan bakti pada Tuhan. Mereka tidak punya anak dibandingkan mereka yang mempunyai anak lebih dari satu sampai enam belas mungkin karena banyak hal yang mereka harus lakukan dan banyak problem yang dia temukan sampai-sampai mereka itu harus minum pil pil tidur atau pil koplo itu untuk bisa tidur tetapi dibandingkan mereka yang melaksanakan kehidupan yang digariskan dalam kehidupan sebagai seorang manusia itu melakukan hubungan. Langsung kepada Tuhan, maka mereka ini jauh lebih bahagia dari yang lainnya. So I request you all that you are very intelligent boys and girls. Perhaps you are going to colleges here and there in jobs. You should try to know who are, who am I, from where we came. What is our future? We are not like animals, so we should think. Have a strong belief in God, who created this world, why He created, why we want happiness. But instead of happiness, a girl was thinking, 
that after my marriage I will be very happy with my husband. But after marriage, after only two months, they began to quarrel and they divorced each other. And they became so unhappy. We see everywhere in this world, more serious things are going on in this world now. So, if you want to be happy, have a strong belief in God and chant in the holy name of God and you can realize all these things and you can be happy. Jadi Guru Dev di sini, memohon kepada Anda, jadi Anda adalah seorang yang sangat cerdas sekali, Anda adalah seorang terpelajar. Taikas. Bones. Taikas. Jadi di sini hendaknya kita mempergunakan, mempergunakan kecerdasan kita. Siapa diri kita? Dari mana kita berasal? Kemana kita akan pergi? Dan bagaimana caranya pergi ke sana? Don't fear, don't fear. They are not tigers. <laughs> Jadi hendaknya kita jangan menyanyikan waktu ini. Mungkin di sini hadir gadis cantik yang ingin berkeluarga yang mana berpikir bahwa dengan hidup berkeluarga akan menjadi sangat bahagia itu belum tentu mungkin saja itu terjadi setelah beberapa bulan di sini dinyatakan oleh Guru setelah dua bulan dan akhirnya kita bertekan sampai-sampai kita harus pisah rumah atau pisah ranjang boleh dikatakan jadi di mana letak kenikmatan itu cobalah dipikirkan tetapi hendaknya kita mengetahui dengan kewajiban kita yang hakiki yaitu sebagai hamba Tuhan, penyembah Tuhan. Jadi hendaknya kita menghayati itu, hendaknya kita melakukan pemujaan pada Tuhan secara dini dan secara sempurna. Maka dengan demikian kebahagiaan itu kita akan dapatkan secara hati. Now the time is over. Sing a song, Mahamantra. And after that, there is some type of play. Any play yes. or anything? They should be also requested to see. And if they have any question, uh, tomorrow or after that they can show. May I explain a little bit? I can explain a little bit. Jadi, kami mendapatkan karunia dari Guru Dan untuk Anak Dan Guru 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 jadi apa yang kita harus lakukan dalam kehidupan ini? Di sini sudah Guru Dev menjelaskan, hendaknya kita selalu mengingat, mengucapkan dan memuja Tuhan yang Maha Esa, malah menyanyikan nama suci Tuhan. Maka dengan demikian hidup kita akan senantiasa berbahagia dan kita akan selalu dijauhi dari kesulitan kesulitan dalam hidup ini. Oleh karena ini adalah hari terakhir kunjungan Guru di Bali dan Apabila Prabu dan Mitaji dan para bata yang hadir di sini mempunyai pertanyaan, itu bisa ditanyakan nanti. Jadi kalau Prabu dan Mitaji dan para bata sekalian yang hadir di sini pada malam ini mempunyai suatu pertanyaan, jadi bisa ditanyakan setelah bacaan ini dan itu akan dijawab oleh Prabu Urukram. Jadi Urukram Prabu akan memberikan penjelasan tentang Simat Bagawatam di tempat ini, yaitu besok atau lusa. Excuse me, Prabu Urukram, you will be here until the after tomorrow. Tomorrow, two more days. Karena beliau yang mulia, selalu dah akan pergi ke tempat besok, sedangkan Urukram Prabu akan tinggal di sini. Uh, selama dua hari setelah keberangkatan Guru Dev 
Jadi kalau Prabu dan Nitaji dan para pendeta yang hadir malam ini ada pertanyaan, itu akan dijawab oleh Prabu Rukram besok dan beliau akan bersedia untuk memberikan penjelasan-penjelasan dari Sriman Bagawatam lebih detail lagi. After the, you have declared that the play will be there. Dan setelah bacaan ini, jadi malam ini juga akan dipersembahkan satu tarian. And they are ready? Yes. They are ready? Uh, so go and see that. Dan setelah bacaan ini, tarian itu akan dipertunjukkan. Karena tarian itu sangat uh, mendadak sekali, jadi mohon uh, apa namanya diterima apa adanya. Hari ini selamat. Hare Krishna They are not ready? They are coming? Huh? What? Abhi tayar nahi hai. Nahi hai to let them stop. Sir, you saying dress will be? Why they are doing so long? Then... Pajak. 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 Pajak.